On today's video, I'm going to respond to some questions that I was asked regarding Francis Ngannou and his claims that he had an MCL and ACL injury going into the fight. How could this have affected his performance, if at all? A man can't stand. He can't fight. Before we do, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We just hit the 6,000 subscriber mark, and I'm really appreciative for all your guys' support. Someone told me to get a new sign, so I did. Let me know what you guys think about it. With Francis Ngannou, after he won that fight, he talked to Joe Rogan and he commented that in his camp leading up to this fight, he sustained an MCL tear of his knee along with an ACL injury. Two weeks ago, I hurt my uh, my knee, tore my MCL completely, hurt my ACL and all those stuff. Questions were asked to me being an orthopedic knee surgeon, how could this have affected his ability to fight? And the answer to that is it could have affected it quite a bit. Now. Before we get into that, we saw Francis Ngannou wearing knee sleeves for this fight. You may not know is they actually do allow knee sleeves or ankle sleeves or those types of supports for fights. Not all states do, so that's the first thing, but they wouldn't necessarily provide that much stability to the knee. So let's go over the structures of the knee and what Francis Ngannou said and what how it could have affected his performance. If you look at a knee model, the main one that he talked about having a complete tear was the MCL or the medial collateral ligament on the inside portion of the knee. The other thing he commented was a possible injury to the ACL or the anterior cruciate ligament. By far the most common injury to the knee in terms of ligaments is gonna be the MCL. And it's usually when you have a stretch of the knee and it goes outward, you see that inner medial collateral ligament can get stretched. You can also see smaller injuries to the ACL. So if the main brunt of the injury happened to the MCL, that would be a good thing for Francis Ngannou because a lot of times the MCL can heal with no operation. Of how it could have affected him. Now, you may or may not know this, but when we're walking around, our force of our body's weight does travel through the ligaments of the knee. And up to 80% can happen through the inner portion of the knees. It could have been extremely painful when he's up and about on his feet. He could have felt that his knee is feeling unstable. As we know, in terms of power, you know, Francis Ngannou's main weapon is his power in his hands. Knock out artist, right? But what's important to know is that all of our power and all of our energy, including in the case of Francis Ngannou, comes through our lower body. So a solid foundation in terms of our feet on the ground and that energy travels up through the body, through the knee, through the hip. So all that power that he generates in rotation and everything is coming from his lower body, including the hips and the knee. So if his knee was unstable, that could severely affect his ability to generate power for this fight. Man can't stand, he can't fight. Especially true when you're striking or kicking, for example, which we know that he's not a big kicker. One area of the fight that we saw and we were surprised with with Francis Gano was his wrestling, which was extremely effective. One thing about knee injuries is you can mask those knee injuries if you're laying on top of somebody. His knee injury would not have been as limiting in that type of situation. When he's up on his feet, when he's moving around, when he's trying to do rotational stuff, if you can't stand, you can't fight. He would have been lacking from the power that he's usually used to. Going forward, depending on how severe his injury was, if the main brunt of the injury was to the MCL, hopefully he can be treated with no surgery, okay? Uh, sprains of the MCL commonly do heal on their own without any operation because the MCL does have a strong blood supply. As long as that ACL was not a full thickness rupture, hopefully it's not something that would cause his knee instability. That's the short answer to how having an MCL or ACL injury would have affected his performance, decreasing his stability of his knee, and then therefore affecting his punching power. Thankfully, he was way to find a way to win in terms of the wrestling and bringing it down to the ground where his knee would not have been as much of a factor. So congratulations to Francis Ngannou. Thanks for the question, guys. I do take fan requests. And so make sure you guys leave your questions and comments below. Um, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Join the family and we'll see you on the next one.